look, at the end of the day, I, th- I find that people that are, when they get into the social media, they start creating media, they start creating content, yeah. all right, is that they're trying to be the everything and anything to everybody. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, a lot. I, I stay in the automotive space. I stay in my, my little vertical yeah, yeah. and um, you know, can I, could I easily kind of stretch outside of that vertical and talk about other places I could. Right. But I just, I know who my audience is. I know that my audience are going to be sales managers and general managers and general sales managers and uh, dealer principals and fix ops managers and parts managers and service managers. Yeah. Like I know this is, I know this is going to be my audience. So I want to create content that I, that's going to be relevant to them. So, you know, that's why we ended up doing these strategy podcasts. That's why we um, record a lot of my strategy sessions when I'm with clients. It's because like it it gives you kind of that, you know, bird's eye view, (laughs) you know, kind of like what's going on, you know, can I, I can get the benefit of listening in on this conversation. So, you know, really, I think the best step for you is to identify who that audience for you that you want to target first, you know, you yeah. don't have to, if look, if you want to target an older audience, a retired audience, that's totally cool. If you want to yeah. target, target a, a younger millennial audience, that's fine too. Even though I say that and millennials aren't really that young, the, a lot of them already have kids of them of their own, but you know, or you yeah. want to target that, that, you know, let's say that 35 to 45 family audience, 